Okay, welcome back to the channel, Classic Collections. Today's a big day. Uh, big in three ways. Travelled nearly 3,000 k's to Connemara in Western Australia. Um, 300 k's from Perth, 200 k's from Geraldton, Midwest and Wheatbelt to see the launch and be part of the unveiling of this big tractor here in Connemara. Also, it's a big day because there's a huge parade advertised, tractor parade, so I'll be filming that as well. So, enjoy. Okay, this is pretty exciting. Check this out. Wow. We're getting ready for the official proceedings here at 11 o'clock it's currently about 8 30 to officially unveil it to the public yeah. 40k timeline wow get around the front here Thing's huge. Look at that guy there. He doesn't even come up to the front hub. Beautifully made. Main Street of Carnamart. Only a little town, 500 people. Have a look at that. That uh, is cool. Chamberlain type 40k. having a bit of a walk around here this machine is really well finished really attention to detail all the dashboard the gear knobs the seat even the tires tires look like they're rubber check that out wow it's huge back wheel Mmm, what a thing. What a great thing for the town, little town. I'm walking back to try and fit it all in. Ah, oh, look at that. Cool. Well worth the effort to come and see it. And to be part of the unveiling, it's going to be special. Cool.
There we go, a little video there of, uh, of genuine 40k beside it's a big one gives you a good size comparison here at the opening unveiling grill off of a real one and then it goes into a, a viewer through the hole you can see the big one at the back good morning my name is Andrew Bowman Bright, and on behalf of the Karnamar Big Tractor Committee, it is my honour to welcome you to Karnamar on this auspicious day on which we launch this imposing monument to Western Australian agriculture, manufacturing and heritage. We are very pleased that the Big Tractor was manufactured here in WA's Midwest region, and to say a few words about its construction, I'll hand over to Jesse Windburst from Dive Engineering in Geraldton. Thank you for the introduction, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Tractor. Today we gather to celebrate a significant milestone, the completion of the world's biggest tractor. This moment is not just about the final product, it is also about the journey it took to get here, the challenges we faced, and the incredible teamwork that made it all possible. From the very beginning, this project was ambitious. It required not only technical skills, but also creativity, perseverance, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. For each person involved, they played a vital role in bringing this vision to life. And I'm sure you'll agree, the hard work and attention to detail have truly shone through. With approximately 2,300 individual parts, what has taken a staggering 21,000 man hours, 62 individuals can etch their name into the manufacturing and construction of the world's biggest tractor. Fabrication first started on the 10th of November 2023 and site construction finished on October 1st, 2024. I want to take a moment to acknowledge the long hours and the moments of uncertainty we faced. It is easy to focus on the end result, but it was the hard work and the dedication of each team member that helped get this tractor chugging along the finish line. But before you ask too many questions, no, unfortunately it doesn't actually drive. I had to pay extra for that. No, nah, but together we have pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible. And the outcome is a testament of the collective efforts of not only dive engineering, but everyone who was involved. As we look ahead, this achievement serves as a reminder of what we can accomplish when we work together with a shared purpose. And I'm certain each and every one who comes to see this monument for the first time will be equally as impressed as we are proud to have built it. Right, we're nearly there. Um, I'd like to invite Peter Spur and Tim Bailey to prepare their Chamberlain tractors to fire up. So anyone around the tractors, please stand clear. And we will have Hal Walton and Bob Lukens to cut the official ribbon if it's still standing.
beautiful. So that's it for Kahnema for the big tractor unveiling. This is some of the memorabilia that I was able to collect, plus I've ordered a shirt. Enjoyed the um, day there on Saturday the 5th. Great to be part of it. And I think it's going to go down in history. Should last a long time. Cheers. <laughs>